So recently, the NVIDIA CEO, Jensen, he told us what we can expect for GPU availability, and you may want to be sitting down for this. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. So let's talk about what the CEO of NVIDIA, that's Jensen, what he said very recently, a couple of days ago, about what to expect in terms of GPU availability. And for those of us hoping that the trend was going to get better and better even this year, as we have been seeing more GPUs on the shelves, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. What he said certainly was a little bit shocking. He said basically for most of 2022, that's next year for those keeping count, the GPU availability is going to continue to be very, very strained and very, very tough. So that basically translates to continued high prices as well as very low availability. Of course, this is going to be even more pinpointed to the GPUs that people really want, such as the 3070, which seems to be one of the most popular GPUs if we go by the amount of sales as well as the amount that the GPU is priced above its MSRP, and certain other GPUs that have had their MSRP go up and they've been sitting on the shelf. Those look like those are going to go up anymore regardless. So this is certainly interesting because we figured by sometime in 2021, NVIDIA and AMD would have caught up with manufacturing these GPUs where we could at least see them for MSRP, see them in stock in stores. So him sort of forecasting that 2022 is going to continue to have constrained supply. First, I do think it's probably good for NVIDIA to have that viewpoint because then their products stay in stock and they can raise prices prices if need be. Third-party AIBs certainly have not been shy at all about raising prices, and I would imagine that NVIDIA, whenever they release a new GPU, they could also do that. I mean, if you look at recent releases, for example, by AMD, the 6600 XT coming in at $379, that's a GPU that's obviously a huge factor was influenced by the current market conditions. Generally, something like that should have been under $300. So if this GPU drought and the issues continue to towards 2022, maybe even to 2023, that means that we may start to hit the next generation of GPU releases and even sort of the iterate updates that they do. Like for example, maybe something like a 3080 Super or one of those models that Nvidia typically does between new releases. Those may just flat out come out at a much higher MSRP than we've seen the previous generation GPUs come out before. We saw this happen with the 3080 Ti in a sense as well. It is priced like the 2080 Ti of last generation, but when we look at the 699 price of the 3080, it just is a really big jump from 699 to 1199 to the 3080 Ti for a very minor increase in performance. So Nvidia certainly is hyper aware of what the secondhand market or the actual real world market conditions are, and they're not going to let their GPU sell for a cheap MSRP, not for long, or at least not for as long as they can control it. Sometimes they will still have some random them drops like at Best Buy for Founders Edition, which they have been able to keep at the original MSRP, but I really don't think they're producing as many of those as they are the third-party GPUs, where the prices are consistently much, much higher. So it looks like we're going to be in this sort of GPU battle for the long run, which really isn't good for consumers because it makes it very difficult to recommend and build gaming PCs when the GPUs are so expensive, they're either out of stock or the ones that are available just aren't too attractive attractive to most of the PC buyers. Now, let's talk about some of the GPUs that have been in most demand recently. Tech Power Up, they've been doing these monthly updates, kind of showcasing the average price between GPUs month to month. For example, the average selling price on eBay. So at least for the last few months, most of the GPU prices, according to them, have been a little bit stagnant, meaning that they haven't gone up too much, but they also haven't gone down too much at all either. Now, this is certainly very interesting because because the price of Ethereum previously was also a little bit stagnant, but recently it's been going up a considerable amount, and this certainly jumps up the GPU market to like a hyper level where people maybe start to buy GPUs again as opposed to just holding on to them and being stagnant. So I think possibly in September, given the combination of what the NVIDIA CEO said of constraints in manufacturing still to meet demand, as well as crypto prices with Ethereum especially still remaining high, we 
could still see a pretty terrible end of year. I mean, the beginning of the year was the worst I've ever seen. You couldn't even find overpriced GPUs. They flat out disappeared for the first few months of 2021. It's only been maybe after May or something like that, where you could at least have a chance at overpaying at the MSRP if you go to a micro center or maybe even Newegg, or if you want like a 6700 XT or even a 3080 Ti, sometimes you could catch them in stock a little bit easier than earlier in the year. So the combination of these two factors are certainly going to make it very, very difficult, but not all GPU prices have stayed stagnant according to Tech Power Up, however. So let's look at some of the GPUs that have been most in demand, primarily the 3070. Now at the original MSRP of 499, people were really crushed that owned the 2080 Ti because the performance of the 3070 was pretty much on par with that GPU. But lo and behold, almost a year later, the 3070 still is most likely one of the most popular GPUs and therefore it still sees a massive price inflation, much more than other typical GPUs. Meaning that if it's 499, the average price is considerably higher. I mean, back in May, I was seeing 3070s for like 14 and $1,500. And then they certainly did go down to 900 or 1,000, but it looks like they're creeping their way back up again. I guess it makes sense because first, it's not as expensive as like a 3080 or 3090, and it's a very efficient GPU, not only for gaming, but also for mining. So both camps really want to get their hands on this GPU. So for those reasons, it certainly seems to be one of the most popular GPUs. Now, the 3080 and 3090 haven't gone up or down in price nearly as much. The 3090 certainly is a very interesting GPU for a few reasons. First, it already comes at a very high price, so a lot of people are less likely to buy it, even though it is the best performing gaming GPU, as well as the best performing mining GPU. For the most part, there are a couple of GPUs that may beat it here and there, such as the 6900 XT in terms of gaming performance, and that's another GPU that actually crept up in price a considerable amount compared to where it was before. I remember seeing back in July the 6900 XT price go down a considerable amount, I even said it's a GPU to watch because as it gets closer to that $1,000 MSRP, it's actually a fantastic GPU. Of course, in terms of the mining performance, it's not as interesting for crypto miners just because the hash rate is going to be almost half of a 3090 and the price isn't too far off unless it really does dip down much closer to $1,200 or $1,000 closer to the original MSRP. But where the 6900 XT does shine and that's going to be in gaming, in many games, especially with AMD's more recent driver up updates and all of the technologies that they're updating and implementing into this GPU, it certainly, for the price, can really run toe-to-toe -to -toe with the 3080 Ti, even the 3090 in many cases. So that's certainly a GPU to keep your eye on, and I think people have because the price is creeping back up. Because I think if you're a gamer and you see a 6900 XT with a price close to what a 3080 is selling for, most likely that's going to be the right choice of GPU, just because the gaming performance, like I said with AMD's recent updates, definitely a great GPU. The same can be said to a certain extent about the 68 and the 6800 XT. They're not as good a value, but if they do go down in price, they're definitely GPUs to watch. And now as the months go by, we do get more LHR or the light hash rate GPUs thrown into the mix. So it's going to be interesting to see how these sell compared to the previous models. Of course, if the hash rate is only going to be half of what it should be, a lot of the crypto miners may outright avoid this GPU. But remember, there have been some recent recent news that they've been able to unleash more and more power from these LHR GPUs up as high as around 70%. So who knows with the coming months, there may be more updates and they may get closer to unlocking their full power. Then they're going to be really interesting to crypto miners and gamers are once again going to have an even tougher time. Now gamers certainly seem to be buying the 3080 Ti and the 3070 Ti, even though I don't think they represent the best value at their current MSRPs. Most of these will be third party AIB like for example the 3080 Ti and a lot of them have some pretty inflated pricing 1800 to 1900 that's something that we used to see the 3090 at for the most part so if the 3080 Ti was available at its $1200 MSRP in the current market condition of course it would be a pretty good price for it but at around the price of what a 3090 used to cost and some 3090s still go for around that price very close to the 3080 Ti that probably explains why often you can find a 3080 Ti 
buy for sale just because at the price to performance it's really not very ideal but once again in the current market condition nothing is really optimal or ideal you can't compare original msrps you have to sort of compare what's going on in the real world and as we've seen week to week and month to month these prices are changing sometimes pretty drastically you'll get a big change in gpu pricing depending on what ethereum is doing unfortunately that does seem to drive a lot of demand and the pricing for these gpus as otherwise gamers are not likely to buy more than one gpu while a cryptocurrency miner may do so because together with really big demand from both gamers and miners anytime ethereum goes up sort of exponentially more crypto miners will buy more gpus than gamers just because that's something they're going to have a return on investment on so it's a little bit more appealing for them while a gamer may want to wait a little bit more to see more stable msrp pricing all right guys so let me know down below what you think about the next year 2022 and the end of 2021 do you really think it's going to be as bad as what the nvidia ceo says remember to subscribe for more content like this smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video